This is uh, SQL Server Learning Series uh, modules, and in this module, we will talk about the in-memory OLTP technology, which is a revolutionary change came in SQL Server 2014 with some limitations, but in the new version, there are a lot of improvements came. So we will discuss in this module, what is the in-memory OLTP technology and uh, we will see the uh, components of in-memory OLTP technology and uh, we will also discuss about the architectural changes in related to the in-memory OLTP technology. We will see in the detail what are the uh, this architectural changes came in the traditional architecture with respect to the in-memory OLTP and uh, we will see the real world use case scenarios in memory OLTP and uh, at the end we will demonstrate the uh, this in memory OLTP we will in, uh, create a new database and we will see what are the changes we have to do uh, in this database and what changes needed in the creation of the objects of the database to get the benefits for the in memory OLTP so Let's move to the first video of the in-memory OLTP. In-memory OLTP technology module is going on and in this video we will talk about the in-memory OLTP and its basic components. We can define the in-memory OLTP as a specialized memory optimized relational DB component added into the SQL Server architecture. So this is the SQL Server architecture and this is a component in-memory OLTP technology. So this component when added into the SQL Server architecture, so it improved the uh, data load and um, it improved the uh, performance of transaction processing and uh, data ingestions and um, trans transient data scenarios. So this component we already told that this is in, uh, introduced into the SQL Server 2014-12x and uh, and then this uh, SQL Server 2016-13x RTM version and to the introduce in Enterprise and Developer Edition. But after that, this component is now available in all editions. So the basic components involved in this technology are memory optimized tables. Memory optimized tables are, uh, there are two types of memory optimized tables. So there's are durable and non-durable. These memory optimized tables are uh, primary storage for these tables is the main memory. Mem memory and they can read the data and write the data into the main memories. So data in memory optimized tables is only read from the disk when there is a recovery process needed. Uh, maybe the server is crashed or server is restarted. So memory optimized tables syntax is this one. We, it's same like the normal table syntax we are, which we are creating before. Only we have to add this with the normal table creation statements that with memory optimized is equal to one. And the durability is schema and data only. This is optional. If you will not mention this in the syntax, then by default, this is schema and data. Schema and data mean for the durable, the, the schema and data is preserved. I mean, when we uh, the server is stored, if the table is durable, then this table schema is also is saved, and it's the data which we entered into the durable table is also can be recovered. But in the non-durable table, which is the replacement for the temporary tables, non-durable table, the only the schema is preserved, but the data is not preserved. So what will be happened? when there's there is a, any server crash happened or server is restarted data will be lost there is no data available only that uh, table creation structure is available which is preserved so in this case this case is because these are residing into the uh, uh, ram so primary memory so there is no disk input output is involved so it reduces the input outputs this is the uh, performance gains and uh, to create the non-durable uh, table memory optimized tables we have to write here the memory optimized is equal to one same like in the durable table but this the second uh, thing we have to add here is the durability is schema only this we must have to add if we will not add this one then it will be act as a durable table 
and how can we access these uh, tables we can access through two ways we can access memory optimized table either by the native compiled stored procedures or through the uh, usual tsql statement translate to sql statement so if we will access this by tsql statements so there is the performance gains but if we will access through the native compiled stored, uh, stored procedures the performance will be the boost because when the client will uh, execute the uh, st uh, sql uh, statement to access the memory optimized tables through native compiled stored procedure this request come to the protocol layer and then this directly will execute this uh, stored procedure to access the memory optimized table so less instructions involved uh, cpu utilization will be less performance will be boost but the for the if that there is a tsql through tsql will we will access this memory opti optimized table then it will go to the protocol layers then uh, it will be parsed and optimized and this then this uh, traditional interpreted interpreted tsql query executor will execute and it then the query interloop will inter operation will also be involved which will be responsible to access the data from the memory optimized table so more instructions are involved but still there is the performance as compared to the disk based tables so this is the memory optimized tables which we are using less input output but the please keep in mind we they are using more memory but they will give the performance uh, in compared to the uh, disk based table in uh, less input output uh, instructions so there are the now the second component is the memory optimized tables types uh, the memory auto create this is used to specify a pre predefined table definition suppose if you want to create a variable of uh, memory optimized table type so we have to define the table type to define the table type this is the syntax it's same like the no normal uh, uh, sql table type syntax but here we have to add the memory optimized is equal to on syntax to create this table type for the memory optimized when we will create that this type so we can create the uh, variable of this type when we are creating the table type we can mention that uh, this uh, index on this table type it can be a hash index or non cluster index hash index is uh, is a memory optimized uh, table index which you used to st uh, use the bucket count and this bucket count we also have to mention uh, this uh, that is a, like here is mentioned 1024 we can change a bucket, bucket is an 8 byte uh, storage which is storing the row address pointer and now we have created this uh, table type we we can use by declaring the variable as uh, salesman type because this is the table name and we can insert the values using this uh, variable into this table this all uh, process is going on in the main memory so less input output instructions will be used memory uh, this performance gain there is a performance gains there is no involvement of the temporary db temp db and so temp db will not be involved so there is no uh, locks no uh, contentions and locks will be involved so there is the performance uh, in this by using this memory optimized tables and memory optimized table types this is the um, one of another component of memory OLTP technology and which is also reducing the input output and there is a, the third component for the memory optimized technology which is a natively compiled TSQL module natively compiled stored procedure uses less number of instruction to execute the query and uses less lesser CPU cycles of course when there is a lesser instruction to execute then of course there will be the lesser cpu cycles compared to the uh, regular stored procedures like uh, this is the um, architecture if this is the um, uh, if the normal uh, stored procedure will uh, ex will be executed by the client so it will pass go through all these steps it will go to the protocol layer cdm parser optimizer inter greater tsql then the, the access method will be used and this all will be used but it, if it is a natively compiled stored procedure request by the uh, client then it will go by the protocol layers to the 
directly to this natively compiled stored procedure in memory of optimized module so it will execute directly this natively compiled stored procedure very less instructions there is no involvement of these kind of instructions very less instructions involved so less cpu cycles will be used its performance will be boost so these are the basic components of the memory in memory or oltp technology which are uh, reducing the input output and which are reducing the cpu consumptions